Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I'm going to talk to you about a new coin called Mina. It's not only just a coin, it's actually a blockchain too, the world's lightest blockchain, and it's a really exciting project. It actually hasn't been launched yet in terms of the coin, but you can see here it does have a value of $36.80, and that's because it's on the IOU markets at the moment so it's been uh, it's been traded on exchanges on the basis that it will be owed to the individuals who have bought it from those who were allocated it through the ICO and the ICO was under a lot of demand and I'll get into all of these details as well so let me just start off with what it did ICO at 26 25 cents so it has pretty much 150 x already and with the circulating supply of seven and a half half percent of its one billion coins, it does have at the moment a uh, a market cap of around about two point eight five billion. Now you might think, well, that's absolutely massive in terms of the market cap, but let me just go into details as to what this does and why it is quite an exciting project. So. This does look like it's going to be released on the 31st of May and then it will be on exchanges. We don't know which ones as yet, but it will be, uh, I imagine, on, on a number of highly available exchanges too. So let's have a look at Mina, the world's lightest blockchain powered by participants. So in the way that you have a blockchain which takes up data size and as you add to it, it grows, this remains the same size. Not only that, it starts off very small too. And where it says powered by participants, it is that all the participants, those who have the coin, are working as nodes, which in itself is a very interesting and exciting concept. If we just go through what they have here, so Mina is building a privacy-preserving gateway between the real world and crypto. The infrastructure for secure, democratic, future we all deserve but what does it mean in terms of the size and, and how is it used here it says that the size of the entire blockchain and this is incredible is around about 22 kb that's the size of a couple of tweets so rather than this being gigabytes in multiple and just keep on growing and growing in size it remains at this 22 kilobytes which is absolutely incredible and, and that's what they they show here so the technology behind it this is what they're doing and just to let you know this is being created by o1 labs so this is uh, some creators of various projects and they've been in the crypto world and the blockchain world for a number of years now and they have actually been working on mina for around about three years it'd be three years in may so they have put a lot of time into this they have been really working hard in creating something which is incredible and, and just goes to show here look at the size i mean 300 gigabytes that is multiple times bigger than than 22 i mean obviously kilobytes goes into megabytes and then gigabytes and let's just have a look where it talks about easy accessible now and always so that just means that you can always get the the data from there that you need in, in the way that it works it it connects, like it mentions here, peer to peer, and it quickly syncs and verifies the chain as well. So the information remains consistent. And in terms of the way it is designed, they just want people to know that that information will always be accessible. Truly decentralized, as they, as they said, every user is acting as a full node. So the more nodes you have, the more decentralized it gets. And if every single participant has its own node, then that is as decentralized as you can possibly get. And here, here it says as well that each participant will be then therefore proof of stake. DApps where people control the data. So obviously you can have DApps on top of this as well. This is a first layer blockchain. So you can have that built on top of it. It talks about uh, Mina Snark power decentralized apps keep users in control by validating and sharing proofs about their data rather than the data itself. So 
this is this is interesting as well. So rather than that DAP having the data, it's just basically saying it's going to validate and share proofs about it too. Again, keeping people in control of their data for it to be completely private as well. I think that's a, a, a great thing that it's doing. And here it mentions that some other blockchains don't interact with the in internet and, and they have limitations as well. But with Mina, you will have that interaction with any website and uh, and access verified real world data for on use, on chain use. And I think that is again, uh, and a very exciting thing that it's doing. And, and as it mentions here, because all, as I said before as well, because of all of the participants being nodes, as it grows, it uh, it just continues being powered by the the community too. So uh, very very exciting thing. So overall, as you can see, it's uh, and I think it's a very exciting project. And I've gone through those things and I've mentioned them, but the the real gravity of some of these areas is is incredible. They're making sure that they are interacting with everything on the internet. They are making sure that people stay in control of their data and the way that the dApps work is by by sharing proof and validating that data as well rather than actually keeping that data and it being a light blockchain or the lightest and, and it will grow and it won't take up any more data space as well and, and the, the fact that it is truly decentralized. I think all of these things are absolutely incredible individually but collectively that is why Mina is such an interesting and an amazing project too. So like I mentioned, yes, it has gone up in terms of value and, and people are exchanging it on these IOU platforms at the moment. But I think once it is uh, launched as well, and I think uh, once companies out there, organizations out there do begin to use the MENA blockchain as well, I think at that stage, it will continue to grow. And as always, I always like to take a long term view in the next years to come when MENA is being used for world, real world, worldwide applications and, and for infrastructure as well for these companies in the future. I think it will go from where it is now to probably a lot more, maybe 10, 20, maybe even more than that X in terms of its size from where it is now in terms of 2.85 billion. So a great project, I think, indeed. I you know, I usually go into and have a look in terms of the following and, and the participation, but I think in this, it, it in terms of the ICO, there were a few hundred thousand people who had registered to try to partake, and not hardly any of those did get it because obviously it is usually limited to a very small amount. Before the ICO was released, they did even reduce the amount the participants could get in terms of coins. They halved what they had before. It was a thousand dollar limit. It went down to 500, but yet there were still so many people that couldn't get into it. So it is definitely one that is under demand. And I think the fact that you can buy on an IOU platform, uh, I believe it, the, the exchange is BitZ, the fact that, that you can do that just goes to show that people do want to get hold of MENA. They really do believe in it. And I believe in it as well. I think it will it will definitely grow. I've had a look at, like I mentioned, O1 Labs, the team behind there. I think they're great. I think they're doing an incredible work out there. Like I said, this isn't just new and it isn't just an idea. They have been working on this for three years. So a lot of effort, time, resources has gone into this. This is really ready for world, world, real world applications to and what they are doing is very very exciting so there you go that's mina it's something to just bring to you at the moment i know it's not on the exchanges uh, other than the obviously the iou if you're interested in that but for you to know that this is a very exciting project that's out there i spoke about casper before that was one of the ones that i was really excited about this is another one as well i don't think you get many of these type of projects that come around in a year and, and i think these are real game changers as well so definitely wanted to just bring this to you so there you go that is mina protocol 
If you have enjoyed this, as always, please do give me a like. It does help the channel. Please do consider subscribing. I do bring out a range of videos. They tend to be new coins, coins that I think will are quite small that will bring value. But from time to time, I do bring new projects like this. And, and even though this is a large one, I still think it has an incredible amount of room to grow, especially, like I said, if you do take that long-term view, which is always worth doing as well because you never know what's going to happen in cryptocurrency tomorrow it is highly volatile as well and we've been having a great bear market recently so there you have it that's me in a protocol i've been cal this is crypto crazy and i'll see you in the next one bye